Hello, my soccer universe. Well, if you want the Reds to win the Premier League, then a game like today is what you probably would like to see. That was a tough, tough, tough matchup against Southampton. Uh, very interesting because both coaches, Klopp for Liverpool, Hasan Hickel for Southampton, play very similar style of soccer, or have the players play a very similar style of soccer. Um, which is nasty, and Southampton really gave it their all to Liverpool. And they did so actually by ceding a lot of the possession to Liverpool, but controlled the game by positioning, by pressing them, by giving, not giving Liverpool much space to breathe and being dangerous on the counter at the same time. And they got their early goal through Shane Long, already in uh, the ninth minute and I didn't start, uh, start watching until the 20th so I was kind of surprised it's already 1-0 oh this is not going anywhere quick jersey matchup yeah Liverpool was not playing in red because Southampton plays in the uh, red and white stripes which overall is okay jersey I just don't want to step it back when it's so red and then this black bar all, all, all over it and I honestly don't like Southampton's jerseys um, this season at all. And uh, that's maybe a reason why when until Hasenhutl came I always I was kind of yeah maybe Southampton is better with those jersey. They should get rele relegated now with ha Hasenhutl of course yeah he's Austrian I, I want him to succeed there. And he probably will succeed. Yes, they didn't get much today but I think it shows the way forward that this team won't uh, bother too much with the, re with the relegation, as I've said in my video earlier. And it could have been 2 0 even after a while. And yeah, uh, Jerry's matchup, let's finish it. Also, Liverpool playing in the purple. Um, yeah, I understand why they didn't play grey because it might be a clash with the colors. Um, I don't like those purple kits a whole lot, honestly. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, uh, City is using the same colors in their third kit, and it looks actually much better. But these for Liverpool, I, I, if it was only one shade of purple, I would will, I, I will go right, but the backside being darker than the front, that just turns me completely off. Anyway, the game Southampton really in the first half gave Liverpool serious trouble. Uh, they couldn't go much. Uh, uh, anywhere it could have been 2 0 if Southampton was a little bit more um, precise in their attacking. But then you could see that around the 25th, uh, 25th or 30th minute, Liverpool got more into the game and became more dangerous. And in the end, they get the goal, uh, the equalizer in the 36th minute after a pass to Salah. Salah was a little bit offside, but then. Um, and I know if there would be VAR, this would have been reviewed and the goal would not have stood. But uh, there was, in my opinion, so many new games here, situation where Southampton could have um, defended, which they didn't. Uh, there was a, a cross in that uh, was not taken, and there was another one where Salah fell, maybe wanted to have a penalty. Another cross comes in. Um, Alexander Arnold right up to Keita's head, who makes his first goal, I think, for Liverpool or something like that. It was so, yeah. 1 1, it goes into halftime. Maybe a teeny bit like lucky for Liverpool, but you know, probably overall also not undeserved. And in the second half, Liverpool really put the pressure on. There was a clear penalty not given for Liverpool, at least in my point of view. Uh, the German commentators were discussing one saying it was not because the player is kind of pulling back his feet. I said he makes clear contact and there's a tackle in there. If you ask me, it was a clear penalty. But that's my, my understanding. I'm curious to hear what others will say about that. And then there was a really a period, not with big chances, but with so much pressure by Liverpool that uh, Southampton actually could absorb. And you could see they were really fighting, hanging, hanging, and giving their all to get the point, at least a point out of this game. And then they got a corner kick, and that corner kick resulted in a corner, uh, in a counter attack for Liverpool, where Salah uh, he gets the ball in his own half and runs. He has a 
brief moment where he could have played to Firmino on the side, he decides to stick with it and uses a slight path to get finally his goal. I think after six games where he has not been scoring, he finally scores and gets the goal. Makes it 2-1 for Liverpool. And that kind of broke Southampton. Because up until that point they were really fighting to, to, to get um, to get the one point to hold on. That just uh, proved a little bit too much. And Henderson, a really nicely played attack, um, gets the 3-1. And Liverpool takes the lead on the table again. Yes, they have a game more. But you know, if you keep winning games, I honestly have the feeling, and I might be wrong. I hope I'm not. I don't want both teams to win it all, win out. And but I think if Liverpool would win out, they will become Premier League champions. I think the City probably can more afford to not win, and it's just staggering. I mean, if they win out, I think Liverpool would sit at ninety-seven or ninety-eight points. Let's quickly check that on the table. Um, so they have. Um, 38 games, so there's five games to go. Five times five times three is 15 points more. Yeah, they would have 97 points in the 90s. This would have easily be the championship. They have only lost once. They drew seven times. It it's just unbelievable. And if City win out, they win at 98 points. It could well be like the Napoli CSA situation last year, when Napoli had the most points ever in their history, and don't win the championship. We'll see that. Southampton, um, despite the loss, I think they won't get relegated. I mean, it is still a five-point cushion uh, to the relegation zone, so I think they look all right. Other games today, I uh, haven't seen highlights yet. Um, the big classic was in France between Marseille and Bordeaux. In Bordeaux, where Bordeaux wins 2-0, which puts... Uh, Marseille's uh, European hopes a little bit more in doubt. Um, let's just see what this meant for the table. Marseille, of course, now still in fifth. Bordeaux, uh, for at least a short while, is going into 11th. I mean, Bordeaux at the moment is a non factor, but uh, beating Marseille, that could be a huge result. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm very tired and I'm gonna go to bed right after finishing this video. So excuse my yawning. Um, the other one is Mainz obliterates Freiburg um, five nil. Those are teams that are um, close in the table to each other. Now uh, Mainz just goes a point ahead of Freiburg. A little bit un un unexpected to me, and yeah, uh, pretty big result. Still, none of those will slip into a relegation battle. Uh, anytime soon and then it's still uh, not quite over but at the moment uh, if supporter holds a 2-0 lead over Boavista which puts pressure on Benfica if they want to become champions so there you go I mean those are the results for tonight the, for me the big game was of course Southampton Liverpool although I, I have I, I'm going to say from a um, uh, historical stand, uh, standpoint both Bordeaux Marseille and the Porto Derby are probably a little bit more interesting, but given the really interesting Premier League title race, that was the game to watch. Let me know if you agree with my assessment on this game or any other, or fill me in on the other games that I didn't watch. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.